Well, hi friends, it's Jeff Hopper with Jeffrey Cranford in our studio in La Quina, California, and we are excited because today we're gonna to start a new series and talk about calling. And uh, we were just having a conversation here together about this being apparently a hot topic these days. I think it is. Uh, some pastors and teachers who are, are focused on this matter of calling. Um, what does it mean to be called? What does it mean to follow a calling? Obviously, it's about a purpose in our lives. So mm. let's start with just the basics, Jeffrey, and, and that is, what is calling? How would you define it? Because I think that there are different ways, obviously, to define it, but when we're talking about it in the sense of being part of Christ's kingdom, we're talking about a specific definition. Right. Uh, I think, well, first of all, we know that it's a hot topic. I mean, the purpose-driven life that came out a number of years back uh, sold millions of copies, so it, it hit a nerve. And I think fundamentally we're asking, uh, we always talk about the two questions that we have to answer to live life well, and that is who am I, which mm -hmm. can only be found ultimately in Jesus, your Creator, right. and secondly, why am I here? And so the, the second flows out of the first, and it doesn't precede. So the, the in general I would say a lot of people talk about calling, and that flows without who am I, that just flows in kind of a strange way. Um, uh, in fact, as I was thinking about it in Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7, it says, For in many dreams and in many words there's emptiness, rather fear God. So when you start from a place without fearing God, without understanding who you are, and you talk about calling, it's just kind of emptiness. So we want to talk about calling from the perspective of, and as you and I were talking about this morning, the caller. And so calling is a response to the caller. And so that's how I would simply define calling. It's a response to the caller. So there is a, uh, there is a predetermined path for you to walk in. We've often talked about two general ways in which people think and within the Christian community. Is it a big parking lot, as an analogy, mm -hmm. and the kingdom of God is just a big parking lot? Or do I have a specific parking place that God, even before I was formed in my mother's womb, had predetermined that I would park in and walk in that calling? And I would argue from the latter. Um, there's, so there gen there's a general call of being light and salt and the Great Commission. All those things are the big parking lot. But then there's a row F and a, and a slot C and a number 21 or whatever place for me to park in based upon all that God's vested in me from time immemorial, even before the create foundation of the earth, which I think is essentially what Paul's saying in Ephesians 2, when he's saying uh, works that were you were formed bef even before the foundations for you to walk in. Pretty amazing concept, but I think calling again is a response to the caller. So there's, a, there's certainly a matter of identity maybe the order in which we do things. And, and a lot of people, I think, when you hear about them, you know, we have a conversation oftentimes about journey. I'm on this journey to figure things out. Essentially, they're thinking that once I find my calling, that's what will give me my identity. And in Correct. this case, we're Inverse. talking about the- Flip it. Yeah. I get my identity in Christ, and from there, he plants in me it emerges this call. your call exactly exactly yeah exactly and and it's not a small matter in fact i know as a golf ministry we talk a lot about uh, what's been going on interestingly with this deep plane stuff and ball flight laws and you say well, it's not a big deal for years we taught that you your path determined where the ball started and your club face determined the curvature of the ball and now with track man and science and everything, we're, they've determined, no, it's primarily where your club face is and then your path determines the curvature of the ball. Some would say, well, that's not a big deal. It's a little technicality. It's a huge deal in analyzing when you see a shot and you see a result and you go, wow, it's a bad result. Improperly analyzing that takes you down some very wrong roads and years of frustration maybe in your golf swing. Well, it's not dissimilar to the way it is in terms of calling. You can be pursuing dreams, and in fact, you can maybe tune in to a Bible teacher or something and try to apply these kind of universal principles of calling without ever having been called or having an identity in Christ and just be chasing after your own dreams, which ends up being emptiness. And people say, well, I tried religion, didn't work for me. Well, you missed identity first. 
And so there's a big difference and getting the cart before the horse is of paramount importance to live well. And again, I think the purpose in our little series here on calling will be then how shall we live? How shall I live? What do I what I put as paramount? What's the most important thing? How do I pursue life with vigor? Is is Jesus someone there to bless me or am I actually a bond slave to his calling on my life? And those two things make all the difference in the world. Well, good. I look forward to talking to you more. And about you. Some I know you've got things. a lot of thoughts as well, yeah, Joe. Great.